Good morning. We sadly are checking out of Universal Studios today. So I did want to take you around our hotel, which is the Royal Pacific Hotel. Um, we stayed here now twice, and I just wanted to kind of take you around, show you what it looks like. Um, this is their Polynesian themed hotel. Royal Pacific is one of their upper tiered hotels. Um, so these are the hotels that are going to come with the extra perks like unlimited express pass and you get early park hours. All of Universal hotels come with early park admission, um, but these upper tiered hotels also come with unlimited express passes for everyone in your party that's staying in a room, which we have kind of calculated to be about $200 per person per day on average. It could be a little more, it could be a little less. Um, so if you think about a family of four that's staying in a room, that's two, four, six, that's $800 a day that you're saving. And you're getting to skip the lines of every single ride in both parks except for Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure and except for Velocicoaster because it just opened. I do have to leave in about 45 minutes, so let's show you around. So when you pull into the Royal Pacific Hotel here, they've got this beautiful wooden awning. And like I said, this is gonna be the Polynesian themed hotel. So you've gotta think like Hawaii, um, you know, maybe French Polynesia. So maybe you've got like Tahiti or Bora Bora. They've got these cute little frogs. I just think they're so funny. And each one of them is playing a different little instrument. Oh, and then I love this river. And the lily pads, they've done a really good job at just theming here and making you feel like you're in a lush, tropical environment. And my favorite part personally, when you enter this hotel, it's scented. So I don't know if they push it through the air vents or what, but in the lobby of this hotel, it just smells like beautiful tropical flowers. They got this wooden carving. But yeah, it just, it smells like flowers and I don't know what kind of flowers. Maybe it's hibiscus or something, but oh, it just smells so good. They do have lots of places to sit. If you take a right here, they do have the Universal gift store, so you can get some of your Harry Potter merch, Jurassic Park, uh, Universal Studios merch. They don't have everything in there. It is a smaller store, but they do have a good variety. Restrooms in the lobby. And then they do have, I believe, three towers. So if you go to the right here, it will be the first tower, and this is where the rooms are located. We will go downstairs in just a little bit because that's where the pool is at, but for now, we're just gonna walk around the lobby. And I do wanna take you into this inner atrium because it's just so calm, beautiful. To me, this aesthetic is, like I said, just very clean, peaceful. Come in here, especially in the morning before the crowds get going. Work on your computer. Now, this is gonna be your bar that will be opened up uh, midday to evening, and it does stay open late. They've redone this since we were first here in 2018. This was all kind of blocked off and they were working on it, and I think it's beautiful. I mean, look at this chandelier. Unfortunately, the windows are kind of um, condensation. Um, they've got a lot of condensation on them right now just because it's so humid outside and it's so cold in here. Again, more artwork. This will get you over to the Tower 3. Um, now you can take these towers, which we will in a moment. We're gonna take the elevator to go downstairs. And then this is a new thing um, since we were here again in 2018. This is the Tuk Tuk. And this is a market that you can get um, kind of just some basic sundries, snacks, coffee. They do serve Starbucks coffee here. Uh, but we really liked this because again, when we were here in 2018, we kind of had to go to that dining room we just went to to get food. Um, and we didn't really want to sit down every morning. We wanted to just get into the parks. And so this really kind of gives us some way to grab a quick bite without having to actually sit down and get a full meal. Sorry. So you've got a soda machine, uh, 
yogurts and stuff. They've got pre-made sandwiches, fruit. This will switch out, so in the mornings it's stuff like bacon, egg and cheese croissants, ham and egg burritos, breakfast potatoes, stuff like that. And then as the day goes on, it will change to like lunch options. Cereals, and same thing with the um, bakery up here with what they're making. So in the mornings you've got donuts and pastries, um, you've got the same breakfast sandwiches, and then in the evenings, or sorry, at lunch, and in the evenings it will change to lunch and dinner options. You've got an ATM, and then this is gonna be the lobby area where you check in. So we're basically just making a big rectangle um, circle around. This is the place where you'll check in. Um, you'll, when you check in, they do go ahead and give you your room keys. And that is what you'll use for your express pass to get on the rides. take you to this atrium because it's so beautiful. So again, more places to sit out here. Lots of tropical trees and plants. And then you have this beautiful water feature. And this will follow the same lines as um, what we walked earlier around the, the lobby area. It's just gorgeous. Okay, so let's go back out here going to enter back into the lobby area where the bar was and then we're going to go downstairs now I was gonna take you on the stairs but I think I'm gonna take you on the elevator they'll both get you to the same area but if and when you want to get on the water taxi I really recommend probably just taking the elevator unless you want to get your steps in and that's fine too but you'll go down here to tower three and then you're gonna go down to the ground floor. Good morning. Okay, so let's see here. We're just gonna go to the first. And in America, I'm sorry guys, we call the ground floor the first floor. Um, but I like that they put ground on there because most Universal Studios and Disney for that matter, most patrons actually are international. So I like that they kind of give you both options so that you don't get confused. Yeah, I'm on one, okay. So then we'll exit out here to the left. And this is where you get into the pool. Now the pool doesn't open up until 9 a.m. and by that time we will be gone. So I'm just gonna kind of circle around. Um, so you can kind of see, I mean, it's a pool. <laughs> um, it is a very large pool. It is a resort style pool. They do have a volleyball net. They've got bars out here, places where you can get some snacks some drinks. Um, they do have a kids splash area. And I'll see if I can zoom in in a minute and I'll give you kind of a better look. I'm trying to get a better view. I think I can get it on this side. Sorry if this is a little jumpy. I do have a gimbal to kind of keep everything steady, but sometimes it doesn't want to work. Right, I think it's user error, but for now we'll just say that it's a gimbal. <laughs> so, this is an overview of the pool area. Let's see if we can't zoom in. Okay. So back here, actually, these two towers, this is an Islands of Adventure, that's Dr. Doom's Fearfall. Um, so we're not far at all from the parks, and I'll show you the water taxi in a minute on how to get to the parks. But that back there is going to be the splash area, and it is kind of themed on like a ship, a cruise ship um, type theming for the splash pad. Over to the left, you'll kind of see where we've got a place to get some food and drinks. That will be, let's see, ooh, 
back here, food and drinks and stuff. Um, and then they do have another one back in the back, back there. Let me get back here, okay. And as you can see, so this is what I mean by tower. Um, this one is, this particular resort is split up into three towers. So this is gonna be a tower for rooms and then there's two other towers. And I'll see if I can get a big map and kind of insert that here so you can see where we are. Down on this base level next to the pool, you're gonna have some other options. So this is going to be one of the themed stores. Um, it's called Treasures of Bali. It's got lots of kind of island clothing, sunscreen, goggles, anything that you would need to swim. They do down here have a gymnasium. Let me show you that. And that is included with your stay. I don't want to get pictures of people um, working out, but you get the idea. So you can enter the gym here, 5 a.m. to 10. And then we're going to continue down past the pool and I want to show you how to get on your water taxi. This water taxi is going to be open usually from about 6 a.m. in the morning until about a, an hour or so before park closes, or sorry, before City Walk closes. Now, the parks each day, depending on the events or the day of the week, they could be open anywhere from, let's say, 7 in the morning if you're doing early park admission to 6 to 8 p.m. at night, depending on the season. Um, City Walk will stay open uh, kind of the same hours, but they will close either midnight during the weekdays or 2 a.m. on the weekends. And so the water taxi, if you're staying at one of these premium resorts that has the option, is a wonderful way to get to and from the parks without having to put in all those extra steps. Because at the parks each day, on a when we're kind of being conservative, we may put in 10,000 steps. But when we're really trying to get things done, we may put in 25,000 steps. And your feet are killing you at the end of this. Okay. Well, so they told me that I couldn't record, I guess, the security area part. So uh, let me stop and let's start over. So when you go to the parks, they will put you through security here, which is kind of nice because you don't have to wait through security with everybody that's coming in at City Walk, which could take some time. Um, so that's another one of the perks for staying at these resorts and being able to get on the water taxi because usually security is pretty fast. They put you through, you do go through metal detection. Um, you can take drinks on. It's not like being at the airport or anything, but um, after five, they don't want you taking any more drinks in because they're trying to cut down on alcohol, people bringing alcohol in. Um, so as long as you take something in before five, you should be fine. Like I said, you will go through the metal detector, then they will put you on the water taxi. And then from there, your water taxi will take you from your resort to City Walk, which is really nice because then it just puts you there. The ride is probably five minutes, maybe less. It doesn't take very long. It's a nice uh, kind of reprieve if you've been on your feet all day or if you are maybe just wanting to see the resorts and see City Walk from a different angle. So it's really nice. And then, like I said, the water taxis will bring you back at nighttime, but you need to get there. I would say, check their hours. I would say to be safe, try to be getting your water taxi around an hour before City Walk closes because usually that's when they stop. I really love the water taxis. Now, Royal Pacific isn't very far from the park, so really if you wanted to talk, uh, wanted to walk it, you're probably looking at maybe a 10 minute walk. It's not bad. Um, Hard Rock Hotel is the closest to the parks, which I would say that's probably a five minute walk on its own. So let's say it's raining and the water taxis aren't running. This is where you would go in for the water taxis where we just went down. But if you go back this way and continue going straight in the direction we were heading before we turned off for the water taxi, you can go down to the end here. Let me zoom in. You can go down to the end here and you can get on one of the buses that will take you to City Walk as well. Now, the only thing about this, from what I understand, is that you have to go through security with everyone else at City Walk if you were to take one of these buses. So that's the only kind of negative on why we don't take the buses. It takes um, about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit longer, but the biggest thing about it is that it it puts you in doing security with everyone else, and so you kind of lose that perk 
of being able to flash through security really fast. They do have some uh, meeting rooms down here. If you were here for an event or board meetings, they would be down here. So we're walking back here. We're coming past the gym, back by Treasures of Bali. There are some outside restrooms, should you need those. And then here you've got a game room for the kids. Every hotel that we've been to on property, kind of like Disney as well, does have a game room for the kids in case you're deciding you want to stay here for the day, but your kids are bored. And then if we continue back on, now this is Tower 3 Elevators where we came down to the pool. And if I continue to go straight, I'm going to get to the Royal Pacific Islands dining room. Now I'm not gonna fully go in there because they don't really like you filming, especially during uh, seating times, and that's fine. But you do go into this room here in this door and you get seated with a hostess. So this is a sit down restaurant and you can go here, I believe for breakfast, lunch and dinner. To our left, we're just kind of on the other side of the pool. Let me come in here a little bit. This does give you a better view of the pool. So again, tons of seating. Let me zoom in. Tons of seating here. Splash pad in the back again. And they do have loungers. I believe you do not have to necessarily rent a lounger should you want one. Now you do need to be staying at the resort if you want to uh, participate in this pool. Uh, and I believe that that is the same with all of the pools. You do need to be a, a resident at the resort. And then out here, we just have some more seating in case you just want to come outside. Maybe you grabbed a snack at the Tuk Tuk. You want some fresh air, it's a beautiful day. You just come out here, get under a, an umbrella. And we're just gonna continue back. Now they do have a bar down here. It's Jake's American Bar. Um, so if you want maybe some late night entertainment or drinks, you can do that as well. And by the time, I'm gonna zoom out. By the time I get back this direction, I am circling the lobby again. I'm just on the lower level. They do have a luau here. Now it's only on select nights, weather permitting, but you can definitely ask the front desk staff about that. And then if you're interested in playing a little game of cricket, they do have a cricket court. And this is the bridge that we came over um, on the beginning of this tour. So you would end up uh, coming in the car park over here. Now they do have a separate parking area, but that's where you would pull in or get dropped off. And then you would cross this bridge to come into the lobby. And the lobby is actually on the third floor. So sometimes that can kind of throw people off. We have more dining here. Um, again, this is Jake's American Bar. So imagine the theming for this is that you're actually in, let's say the South Pacific. Um, it is Polynesia, but Jake has decided that he's going to open up a bar. I love, I love the fans in here. It's so cute. They really do a good job at theming and this is throughout the parks. This is not just in the hotels. They do a wonderful job at theming, and I really think that they've gotten better at theming probably since the late 90s. If you look at Men in Black, um, you know, it's kind of the same idea. And then they've just gotten even better with Harry Potter and Jurassic Park. They really make you feel 
you know, all encompassed in this this theme and this idea and this fantasy when you go into these rides. Ooh, they're doing some construction. So as I come back here, we're gonna get to the area where they do the luau. And um, they do have areas here if you did bring your pet, your service animal, um, where you can walk them. And then they do have areas where you're not allowed to. So be sure to check out these signs. See here, they don't want you walking your dog here this is not one of those areas but they do have designated areas to do that i believe you say wantalon the wantalon luau correct me if i'm wrong but this is where you would come to do your luau if you were to sign up for that And I'll see if I can find a good, I have seen some videos where people have come to the Luau. So um, I'm gonna link those in the description below so that you can get a good idea. We have not participated in the Luau. Um, unfortunately, we're just always so engrossed in the park. So when we come that we just really don't make time for it, but maybe the next time we come and stay, we'll, we'll do the Luau and we'll video it for you. Let me know in the comments below if that's something that you would like us to do. We can certainly come back for a special trip and do that. If we return back to the luau and we go back here, I'm going to take you into our room and kind of show you a tour. Please understand that we have been here for a few days and our room is not uh, pretty and made up the way it would be <laughs> if we had done it on the first day. Um, I'll try to see if I can find footage from our first day and insert that as well because we have stayed in two separate rooms. Uh, my favorite being the one that we stayed in the last time, which I think may be a king suite, but I'm gonna look it up. So again, if ever you wanna get to the lobby, you press three, and it does say lobby here in case you get confused, because most of the time we think the lobby is gonna be on the first floor or the ground floor, but in this case, it's on the third floor. And we are actually staying in the third floor as well, so this should be our hallway. So from here, where she's walking is back into the lobby. So when you come in the front, and you come in the front entrance, walk over the bridge, you will take a left when you enter the lobby and you will come this way, and this is Tower 2. So again, we kind of keep in with that theming. You've got the flowers on the floor. And the wallpaper is um, kind of a gray and cream flower as well. And I do think that the room numbers are so cute. They look like little luggage tags. Okay, please excuse our mess. We are checking out. But this is your basic king bed room. So when you enter the door, you come in here to the right. Very pretty mirror and bathroom set up. They'll leave your towels down there. They do have a hair dryer. And then this is a sliding door, maybe if you want some privacy. But it's just a basic shower and tub and toilet area. And then if we come back this way, we enter the main bedroom space. You do have uh, bedside tables on each side with these cute little lamps. And I do like the um, wallpaper. This, is, this part is the same wallpaper that's in the hallway. And then in the rooms, they have different types of flowers, different colored flowers are very pretty. Now we are on the third floor, like I said, so we kind of look over this back area with lush foliage. And then if I turn around here, you're gonna have a little desk, a little desk lamp and a chair. Television, you do have storage space here, and you also have a little refrigerator. There are no microwaves in here, and to be honest, there's no microwaves in the hotel. I found that out this morning. But if you request a microwave, they will bring one to your room. And down here you have a Keurig with tea and coffee, and then you've got some little coffee cups. They do have these waters, but they do charge for the waters, so 
be mindful of that. I do like at least they put a little tag on it and let you know. And then here you have a closet. They have hangers, they've got another pillow and throw up there. Um, they've got an iron, ironing board, and then they've got one of those little uh, things that you expand to put your luggage on. A luggage rack. Mm, yeah. They do have a clock on this side of the bed. You can set an alarm if you'd like. One of the things that we liked was that on each side you've got a USB port, and then you've got two plugs if you needed that. Um, same thing over here. You also have more uh, USB and regular plugs on each side of this desk. Um, so that was really nice to be able to plug all of our stuff in at the end of the day. I already did that. And then of course you've got some really pretty artwork. An island fire dance. Again, if you are in the Polynesian Islands. Um, so they really do play into this kind of Polynesian theme that you have going on. So that is the Royal Pacific Hotel here at Universal Studios, Florida. Is this going to be a hotel that you're going to consider staying in when you come down? Um, is it maybe not your style? Tell me your opinions about it, what you think. Have you stayed here before? Um, let me know your thoughts. Did you like it or not like it? But let me know how you feel about it in the comments below. Otherwise, I've got a couple of other videos from our stay here this trip. Uh, we did come to HHN 2021, so I'm going to put those in the description below for you. And also check out the beginning of our honeymoon um, into the Maldives. I'm going to put those in the link below as well. So otherwise, I'll see you guys later. Bye.